Chapter 4 Mr. Fix The Detective The next day, English newspapers wrote about Mr. Fogg's journey. When the police saw his photo, they thought, He looks like the robber who stole the money. They tried to learn some facts about Mr. Fogg, but he was a mystery. Nobody could understand the reason for his bet. The police decided, Mr. Fogg is the bank robber. He started his journey to escape from the police. A telegram with the news came to Suez on the 9th of October. That day the ship Mongolia arrived in the port making a regular trip to Bombay by the Suez Canal. At 11 o'clock, a passenger came off the ship. He had a passport in his hands and asked a small, thin man for help. Where can I get a stamp? The detective, it was him, Mr. Fix, took the passport. I have found the robber, he thought, and said, this isn't your passport. No, it is my master's. He must go to the passport office. Thank you, sir, said Passepartout. I must stop this man. I hope you won't get him a stamp, cried Mr. Fix, running into the passport office. I can't help you if his passport is okay. I am sorry, said the passport officer. Soon a tall Englishman came in the office. Are you Phileas Fogg? Yes, I would like to get a stamp from Suez. Okay, sir. When they left, the passport officer said to Mr. Fix, He looks like an honest man. He looks like the robber, and he will not escape. Mr. Fogg told his servant to do some shopping, and Jean stayed ashore. Well, do you like your trip? asked him Mr. Fix. Yes, but I have to buy something. I must be careful about the time. It is only noon, said Mr. Fix. Passepartout looked at his watch. Noon? It is ten. Your watch is slow. My watch is never slow. I see, said Mr. Fix. It shows London time. You must change the time for each new country. What? cried Passepartout. Never! Well then, it will not agree with the sun. My watch is never slow. The sun will be wrong then. As they went on, Passepartout talked to the stranger and told the story of his master's bet and the journey. They had a lot of money with them. They tried to travel as fast as they could. Mr. Fix learned that Mr. Fogg lived alone in London and was a mysterious man. An hour later, the police at Scotland Yard got a telegram. From Suez to London, I have found the bank robber Phileas Fogg. Send the arrest warrant to Bombay now. Fix the detective. Ten minutes before the ship Mongolia left Suez, Mr. Fix came on board with a small bag and some money. He was on his way to Bombay.